Dear Mom and Dad, I have arrived safely in Meridian, Mississippi. This is a wonderful town and the weather is fine. I wish you were here. The people in this city are wonderful and our reception was very good. All my love, Andy. It was close around six or seven o'clock, around six, seven o'clock in the evening. Uh, and a call came in from the Meridian. People wanted to know they had not heard from Mickey and James Cheney. I just knew that something had to be wrong. It was early Monday morning, around one or two in the morning, um, when someone came to the um, dorm room that um, I was using um, and woke me to say that the men had not returned. And um, that was how I first heard of it. Everybody was to come into the auditorium for this session. They had this extremely solemn look on their faces. And then they told us that three uh, workers who had been at the orientation and had left early, uh, they had disappeared. I urge people to contact their families and have their families contact their congressional people to indicate that we believe that this certainly was a possibility given the fact that so many hours had gone by and um, that they couldn't be located, th that they might have been killed. The three civil rights workers who disappeared in Mississippi last Sunday night still have not been heard from. A search has thus far produced only one clue, the burned-out station wagon in which the three were last seen riding. Andrew Goodman, a 20-year-old college student from New York, James... Learning that three of our members, two of whom were white, had disappeared, really blew away all my ideas that possibly we would have protection from the fact that the majority of the summer volunteers were white. I knew now that that was not the case, that everybody was in grave danger, and that these Mississippians would kill all of us, white and black. Bob said that there is no guarantee that you will get out of this summer alive. So just know that. It's up to you if you want to continue on. So he left us all to the phones, and we all went. We were told to call home. Did you talk this over with your parents before you made the decision? Yes, right, and I discussed it with them. and They felt, of course, what I feel, and that is fear of, of what might happen there. My mother and father did not ask me to come home. They asked me to do what I thought was right. So I boarded the buses. I'm going down to Mississippi. I'm going down a southern road. And if you never see me again, Remember that I had to go. Remember that I had to go.